The world has long known about the practice of women's harems, where many concubines lived at the court of powerful sultans or emperors. Some of them could become legitimate spouses of the ruler with a full set of rights and duties. Others remained only mistresses, designed to satisfy carnal needs. At the same time, the practice of male harems was less well known. However, they also existed in some cultures of the past. Male harems also included many women, but their meaning and functions were different from female harems. Instead of entertainment and pleasure, male harems had a practical orientation. Such male harems, or the practice of polyandry, as they were also called, existed in various regions of the world. This custom could be found in South America, India, Nepal, Malaysia, Tibet, and some African tribes. In them, a man could marry several women, and such polygamy was socio-culturally accepted. Despite the existence of male harems, which differ in their characteristics from female harems, society more often paid more attention and interest to female harems. They are mentioned in historical sources, fiction, and cinema, which makes their phenomenon more well-known and discussed. Male harems were not just a whim, as it might seem at first glance. They were based on scientific observations and evolutionary assumptions. Scientists have found that in animals, Females mating with many males had more viable offspring. The cubs were born bigger, healthier, and developed faster. They were also characterized by better health and longevity. This scientific justification has led to the fact that in some cultures male harems have become considered a necessity. This form of marriage, where a woman has two or more husbands, is called polyandry. It is an alternative to the more common polygyny, when a man has several wives— Polyandry, although less widespread, was practiced in various societies, especially in those where special climatic or economic conditions prevailed, requiring a more effective organization of the family and offspring. Thus, male harems and polyandrous forms of marriage had their foundations in scientific premises and were associated with the desire to provide healthier and more viable offspring. Related polyandry usually occurred in poor families where there was not enough property to divide between brothers. In order to preserve the land and run the farm together, the brothers married a wealthy woman and stayed in the same house. Unrelated polyandry, on the contrary, connected men who had no family ties to each other. The only common factor was the woman they married. Such women usually had a high social status and independently chose their husbands, determining their number. In such families, men shared not only household duties, but also the right to access their wives. Heliandry required a woman to perform her marital duties every night, sometimes even several times a night. This often led to the birth of many children who were considered common and brought up by all family members, since it was impossible to determine paternity at that time. Male harems, as a phenomenon, appeared in ancient Sumer, although in one case polyandry is mentioned in the ancient epic Mahaparata when the main character Draupadi was married to five brothers. At that time, polyandry was not always perceived positively, and some societies even applied strict punishment to women practicing polyandry. References to male harems can be traced in various historical periods and cultures. In ancient media, which existed in the 7th to 6th centuries BC on the territory of modern Iran, Women were allowed to have several husbands at the same time, but their number was limited to four. In the early medieval power of the Ephthalites, which stretched across the territory of modern Central Asia, Afghanistan, and northern India in the 5th-7th centuries, polyandry was a legalized phenomenon at the official level. Women could have several legitimate husbands and wore special hats with horns that indicated the number of their spouses. The practice of male harems was also found in Africa. For example, in some Irigu tribes in northern Nigeria, women had several spouses who were called Somuskiami. Polyandry was also found among the Maasai in Kenya and northern Tanzania. In the Polynesian tribes of Oceania, belonging to the ruling elite, women had male harems with all the ensuing consequences. The Canary Islands also knew polyandry among the Guanches, but their history with harems ended when the Spaniards completely exterminated this people. Thus, male harems existed in different cultures and times, and they were often associated with the socio-cultural characteristics and traditions of the societies where they existed. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. My reports, short videos and articles, stories and travels are published here every day,
See you in the next video.